Hello there. My name is Heather O'Malley and I'm a Carbondale local author. And I'm here today to do a reading for my book, The Hands of the Morai, which is a fantasy adventure novel. This is for the author event that's coming up Sunday from two to four at the Carbondale Public Library. So please come and see me plus a number of other excellent uh, authors from the Carbondale area. Nibs drifted his way over the barren field, hanging on to a breeze that helped him stay aloft. As he flew, he scanned the few stalks of last year's crop that showed a wet tan through the melting snow to see if there was anything to eat. He spotted nothing. The village he headed towards was part of his normal range and was usually a good source of food. There was a wooden palisade with a ditch around it, the bottom of which still had a decent amount of snow cover on the bramble, which would have plump berries come fall. Thin rivulets of smoke twisted into the cool morning air from numerous chimneys from the various wooden buildings. A few spots of light green, signs of the forthcoming spring, showed here and there in the fields along with the buds of leaves on branches and new sprouts of grass. One of the larger walled households that abutted the palisade was quite busy. Numerous women wearing similar black clothes with a black padded coat over it all moved about in the busy act of packing and loading gear onto both animals and carts. The pack animals stood passively and the two small carts were laden with various trunks and foodstuffs. One was covered tightly with a tarpaulin the other wasn't. Perhaps there might be a morsel of food in easy reach? The bustle was far more action than in any other place in the village, and he was unsure if the payoff would be worth the grief, despite this location usually being good pickings. <laughs> 